I'm stepping in for Jared and I'm taking over this video. Hey guacamole lovers, today we're in for a real treat as we take the art of guacamole making to a whole new level. With avocados fresh from the tree, join me in this avocado paradise as we pick ripe, creamy avocados straight from the source and transform them into the most flavorful and luscious guacamole you've ever tasted. From the rich variety of texture to bursts of zesty lime and the perfect balance of spices, get ready to experience guacamole like never before. So let's roll up our sleeves and dive into the world of fresh homemade guacamole. Let's first start by chopping our onions. The reason why I'm doing this is just so that it fits into the food processor. And then after this, I'm gonna work on the red chili. I'm gonna smash the garlic down, and then I'm gonna cut the tomatoes just so everything fits in the food processor. Let's talk a little about the origins of salsa. The Aztecs were among one of the first to use the tomato in these original salsa recipes which included a mix of chilies, squash, and beans, along with many other ingredients. I'm chopping up the cilantro, just like I said earlier, just so that it fits in the food processor. I like to peel an entire lime and throw the whole thing in there. You can juice it, but I'd rather do it this way. Also, it helps me work on my knife skills, and it's just my approach. I love using salsa in my guacamole because it adds flavor without adding extra calories. You get around five calories per serving and it's one of the few condiments that can be classified as low calorie. Once you have all of your ingredients inside of the food processor, you're just gonna add some black peppercorns, you're gonna add some sea salt, and then you're just gonna give it a mix until it gets to like a chunky consistency. And then it's as simple as that. You're just gonna fold everything into your smashed avocados, which I will show you later in the video. I normally just use my hands to squeeze the avocados to a chunky consistency. Make sure you scrape down the sides here and there just to make sure that everything gets incorporated. After that, you're gonna transfer to a container. You're gonna put to the side because you need to prep your avocados. Here are the avocados that I picked directly from the tree myself. They do not get any more organic than this right here. Wait till I cut this open so you can see exactly how beautiful they look on the inside. You don't have to make as much guacamole as I am, but since I picked all of these avocados, I will make sure that I eat all of this within a week. Once you remove all of the pits, you're gonna take the flesh and you're gonna scrape it into a bowl. And then we're gonna start to mash it. And then we're gonna add the salsa that we made into the mashed mix. And then that's gonna be your guacamole. Now that we have all of our avocados in a bowl, I'm just gonna season generously with salt and pepper. I'm using these lovely salt and pepper grinders. If you would like to know where I got them from, I will leave a link in the description below. This is my favorite part right here. Please make sure you wear gloves because it's gonna be easier on the cleanup. You're just gonna wanna squeeze the avocado between your fingers to the desired consistency that you want. I like mine on the chunkier side, so you will see in a second just how I like it. This is the consistency that I really like right here. Now it's time to add the salsa to the mashed avocado. And once it's mixed, you're gonna have your seasoned guacamole.
I decided to save the seeds because I wanted to challenge myself to grow plants from them. I've always struggled with this, but I can't wait to show you guys the outcome. I'm just rinsing them thoroughly. I'm gonna transfer them to a container and then I'm going to place them by the window with the rest of my plants. And there you have it. The magic of making fresh guacamole with avocados straight from the tree. Isn't it incredible how the taste of a homegrown avocado can elevate this classic dip to a whole new level? If you've enjoyed this guacamole adventure and want to see more delicious recipes made with love and fresh ingredients, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to Jared's channel, and hit that bell icon so you won't have to miss any of our future culinary escapades. Share this video with your fellow avocado enthusiasts and spread the joy of fresh guacamole. If you have any avocado filled dreams or suggestions for future videos, let us know in the comments below. Thanks for joining us today and until next time, happy guacamole making.